We present an automatic building reconstruction system to create large urban models from hundreds of millions of area LiDAR points. Our system contains five individual modules shown here. The input LiDAR data first goes into a pre-processing module called Finalizer, which inserts finalization text and set up the indexing structure for streaming processing. The classifier then takes all the point records and classifies vegetation points from building and ground. Next, the splitter segments single building patches from the building and ground points and outputs individual building patches and the ground point stream respectively. The building patches are turned into mesh models by the modeler while the terrain generator simply rasterizes ground points and generates a terrain mesh. The final urban model is created by combining them together. Note that we are dealing with huge datasets containing hundreds of millions of points, which cannot be loaded into the memory at the same time. To process all the data in a seamless manner, we introduce an efficient out-of-core architecture called the Streaming Framework. In this part, we use our classification module to demonstrate our Streaming Framework. The whole LiDAR data is first partitioned into uniform rectangle grids. With the stream indexing structure created and inserted into the original data, a point stream is formed up and stored in a disk file. Our streaming classification module sequentially reads from this disk file, loads necessary data in call, processes it, and once data is no longer needed for further processing, it is written into an output stream. The highlighted area shows the input and output stream. Both are stored in disk files and consume no memory. On the other hand, the solid colored cells denote active data set loaded in core. They act as the frontier through the data stream, thus require only a small amount of memory. The details of our streaming framework can be found in our CVPR 2009 paper. In this part, we make comparisons between our streaming method and traditional tiling methods. The traditional tiling method partitions the whole LiDAR data into tiles and processes them one at a time. To remove the boundary artifacts, they introduce padding around tiles as shown here. The data in padding area is processed for multiple times and thus results in unnecessary overhead. In our experiment for tiling method, we found the data size grows to roughly three times to the original size. In addition, tiling methods disable global operations such as segmentation. Thus may generate incorrect results. For example, with the ramps connecting highway and local roads not in the same tile, the highway is often detected as an individual segment and reconstructed as a building, while well, our streaming method correctly detects highway as part of the ground. Finally, the size length of tiles is still limited by computer memory size. Tiles may be not large enough to capture large building structures. Artifacts still exist, as shown in this video. Now we show the urban model of Atlanta. This is the largest dataset we have ever processed, containing 683 million LiDAR points stored in a 11 gigabyte disk file. Our system generates the whole urban model in under 25 hours of unattended processing using less than 1 gigabyte memory. As a comparison, an in algorithm would need more than 100 gigabyte memory to process them in one pass. A tiling algorithm would take more than 60 hours processing time, and may still produce artifacts in certain areas. 